dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead and out of this world. Laszlo sucks backwards. Laszlo doesn't suck, and if he did, he certainly wouldn't do it backward. Am I devious? Yes, I think I am. But as the old saying goes, I didn't come here to make friends. Well, that's bullshit. That's exactly what I came here to do. I need to recover that chaise long, because I'll ejaculate straight through that. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a porno? It's a pleasure swing, you fuck nut. Not a sex net. That's the sex net. Get that out of the box and attach it to the ceiling. He's got this irritating habit of giving you orders just at the moment of climax. So you're both there in the moment, and then he barks an order, and you're heard, what? I beg your pardon? He expects you to have listened during the climax. What you're about to see are the potpourri representations of the vulvas of some of my favorite prostitutes and women I have loved. Oh, that's my good lady wife, Nadja. I don't think she'd like you to see that. That's Nancy Reagan at the end. It's a bit untidy. My mother. You desecrated my vulva garden, namely my mother's vulva. I'd say surrender, wow. but it's my mother's wow. vulva we're talking about. How are we going to kill a whole wolf pack with just three silver bullets? It's worse than that. We don't even have a gun. If we seriously think he's going to whack us, Which we don't. then we should whack him first. You want us to quack him? If you think he's going to whack us first, yes. If any vampires find out about this, then it A good evening. Go back to your own country. What the fuck? He's as mad as a wax banana. And if you don't wear a cape, you look like a fuckney knee trembler. I say, release me. We could assassinate the king. We don't have a king in America. Even easier. I say, little vampire, I'm very sorry for saying you should be kept in a cage. And you look the dog's knackers. You're my sweet baby, and I'm here to stop that kind of jive. You won't remember a thing about it. And you, my darling, won't remember a thing about a damn thing. Do you have a quill? No, it's all no, I'm digital. Not signing that. What the fuck would anyone want with Canada? Okay. Where did you get them from? Amazon. So. Well, then you get in your car and you drive back to the Amazon. That's not how that works online. Shut your mouth. Well, I'm going to take my hat back, you crispy piece of shit. I know we haven't got on over the years, but uh, nope, that's it. Now, how best to describe Nando? He's blessedly unburdened with the complications of a university education. But give him an axe, and he's second to none. Though you wouldn't want him as your barrister. <laughs> Don't let him fucking see. I cut loose to Pennsylvania because it sounded like Transylvania. And we all know that sounds cool. You say you're from Tucson, but you talk all fancy and Europe-like. This is the way we talk in Tucson, Arizona. Have you gone soft, my sweet set of pie? No, my sweet set of pie. I've gone hard. Because he's my best friend. He's my pal. He's my homeboy, my rotten soldier. He's my sweet cheese, my good time boy. There's no such thing as vampire killers, you knob lord. You seem to forget that I am the Tempo King. I was doing the bloody disco a hundred years before any other fucker. I walked into the John and someone had left a huge floater. How about I put this toy where the moon don't shine? I've been shit on from a great height. And it's not the first time. Ah! Ooh, shit. When I was a child, I loved juicy red apples. Now they just smell like shit and decay. So now what I basically do is cut them off the tree and throw them on the floor. <laughs> the process will be quick. That's slightly insulting, but probably true. Though I can go again. It all pays off in Ocean's 12. You need to fucking stop talking about the sea. How you diddling, Jojo? Never accept a towel from an Italian. I'm as cold as a witch's tit. Now I've heard there's a lot of nudity, and I mean a lot. And when I say a lot, I don't just mean a whiff of tit. I mean the full rack. Occupado! There's some genitalia on show there that would make a human go, what is that exactly? Door's ringing, Liza. Well, you better go and answer it. Y you better go and answer it. You gotta go and answer the darn tootin' door. Stop doing that. Stop doing what? Sorry. What was that? I said I'm sorry. Couldn't quite hear that. No, I couldn't hear it either. I said I'm sorry. <coughs> Told you so. <coughs> you fucking didn't. Time to get the fuck out of here. Hell. I never learned to drive, which is a pity, because that thing cost a fortune. But! Got one of these. Don't mind if I do. 
be careful. Oh, yes, that's right. Come on, Great Grey Baby. Yes, come to Mama. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> What you're about to see are the potpourri representations of the vulvas of some of my favorite prostitutes and women I have loved. It's Polly Nichols from Whitechapel, 1888. Oh, that's my good lady wife, Nadja. I don't think she'd like you to see that, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> Beautiful. That's Nancy Reagan at the end. It's a bit untidy. And here we have the piece de resistance, my mother. The you're kidding. Oh, that's werewolf piss. Werewolf piss. In the late 1800s, a new and exciting medium was invented, and that medium was called cinema. And then about a week later, that developed into pornos. Now, the first porno film I ever made was called The Adventures of a Very Randy Vampire, and I played the leading role of the very randy vampire. I was cast because they thought that I looked like a vampire. I took part in thousands of pornos over the years. If you see them now, they are still very, very erotic. There's a man who enjoys his work. This was banned for 60 years. No, I'm in Time to 23 skidoo. Or should I say 69 skidoo? Let's see State College win their big game without their star quarterback. <laughs> How can I ever make it up to you? Oh, yeah. Be Baba Luba, yeah. Have you ever been with a man before? And how would you like me to answer that, Philip? No. You'll never guess where this is going. Then the answer's no. And now, the 1990s. Could it be any sexier? Where have you been? I paged you over an hour ago. Who are these people who are always paging? And what's the deal with pagers? Shut up and get over here. Oh, yep. This is exactly what I want to be doing right now. I'm about to launch a Sputnik. There is nothing more devastating than finding out your husband has made porn. And it's so bloody boring. She said that my pornos were boring, which is an unbelievable reaction. I showed her a century's worth of my pornos. That's a lot of porn. I don't think she followed the plot. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. He was delicious. Now, listen, I don't know about you, but I'm very much in the mood for some sexual intercourse. <laughs> 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 Darling, right next to the public toilet. Yes. Orgy stuff. A few of my favorite things, as they say. The cat o' nine tails, my codpiece. Bat codpiece. 200 year old peekaboo cape. The idea being you walk into the orgy, you announce yourself, and then do that. Oh, do you remember that first time that we made love and it was so passionate that I accidentally cut off your head? No, what? Mm, but then I kept going, squeezing, until my needs were met. We should do that again. But I mustn't. But I want to. But you can't. But I have been married for such a long time. Oh. <sighs> I must go. OK. I'm here. The life of the OG has arrived. It's stiff. Don't breathe it in. It's some kind of hey. Hello. I must say, I, I'm not sure I fully disapprove of this abduction. Relaxing, really. Some might say erotic. I don't know about you, old chap, but I have a raging hard on. Yes, love, my love. I am coming for you. Be strong. Not now. Um, I mean, um, uh, in your own time, my darling. No immediate hurry. It is time to begin the extraction. The what now? The removal of your semen. Oh, yes. Well, I'm quite keen on that idea. Let that be known. 
I just remember the last time me and the Baron were making love, he said something to me. If you ever get to the new world, my dear, take over the land and subjugate the entire population, otherwise I'll have your head. But I couldn't pay attention because he was doing that thing where he pays a lot of attention to your area. The thing is, he's got this irritating habit of giving you orders just at the moment of climax. So you're both there in the moment, and then he barks an order, and you're, uh, what? Oh, uh, what? Nothing. I beg your pardon? What are you saying? And he never repeats what he said. He expects you to have listened during the climax. Obviously, the orgy standard of having a mirrored ceiling doesn't really work for vampires, so we have developed our own way. I don't, I, I don't know what you want me to say. Just describe what you're seeing. Um, well, it's a beautiful scene. Someone is seductively riding a, a candlestick up and down. Someone's on the couch sucking and getting sucked. Sucking Louder! Oh, jeez. We need specifics. What am I doing to my ass cheeks? You are, uh, you're licking it. Can you just describe uh, what you say? It's not hard. Good boy, that's uh, right. Must be my birthday. I can't. I'm sorry. It's a pleasure swing, you fuck nut. Not a sex net. That's the sex net. Get that out of the box and attach it to the ceiling. Gizmo, get the dildos. Gizmo, try out the dildos. Mmm, how are the dildos? They're fine. One night, I was awoken by this horrible clawing at the window, and I thought, who the hell is that? Because I live on the third floor. So I went to investigate it. I threw back the curtain when I saw the most beautiful woman I had ever seen. But she was gripping the window and she was clawing at the glass. I was hypnotized. I used hypnosis on him. Anyway, obviously I invited her in. We were about to make love when she turned into this hideous leathery bat thing. She drained me of my blood, giving me the curse of eternal life, and thus making me a bloodthirsty creature of the night. You remember the precise moment Naja took our life. I was on the verge of a sexual climax. Well, here's the thing. I was on the verge of fulfillment, yet I couldn't quite finish. Ah, I see. You want to finish your final human orgasm. Yes. And I've tried to finish myself off with these hands, but they're ghost hands. They don't have the necessary stimulus. Mm, how irritating. Yeah, whereas your meat hands, I'm convinced, would give me the traction for full sexual release. Oh, what is all this sticky stuff? Oh, it's everywhere! Is it ghost ectoplasm? Yes, my darling, that's exactly what it is. Ghost ectoplasm. <sighs> I found it! Thoughts. Looks like it's alive. Good eye. It's 100% witch skin. Simon was always very jealous of this hat. I can't wait to see his face when I walk in. Please don't wear that hat. Too stylish? No. It's a big, bloody, stupid hat with a big, bloody, stupid curse on it. And every time you wear it, something bloody, stupid, terrible happens. Nonsense. Gizmo likes it, don't you? It's Gizmo. Lazo's stupid hat. It's got a bloody, huge curse on it. I have tried to throw it out many times, but it keeps crawling back. Literally. I acquired this hat while draining the blood of a Bavarian Hexenbrenner, or witch burner. He must have noticed me eyeing it. As in his dying breath, he said, Take my hat. It's cool. Yes, it is cool, I thought. Free hat. Even better. Think of all the things that have happened. The potato famine. The time that that horse knocked you over and trampled over you. No, it didn't. Then it started making love to you? I don't consider that a curse. It's growing human hair. Exactly. I knew familiar. He likes it. Don't you, Dustin? It's Justin. Yes, have a touch. <laughs> That was our new familiar. Adieu. It's that bloody cursed hat, Laszlo! It's got nothing to do with the hat. It's the bookshelf, which I charged you to fix. <laughs> so selfish, Laszlo! She's right. I made a vow never to return to that cag house ever, ever again. But why? You know why. The British are a pack of classist wankers. You're here. And... Those fuckers expelled me from, from the, the Sherwood, Sherwood Club. Yes, I know. You have told me so many times. Yeah, I've told you so many times, but I've never told you why. And now I will. I always thought it was because of all the whores and the whoring. They don't give a fuck about whores and whoring, my darling. 
They didn't even care that I was a vampire. What they did object to, however, was the fact that I fell in love and eventually married the most beautiful, simple girl. A girl with no surname, no social standing. They actually called her a peasant girl. A girl from a tiny village on a dirt island in the Mediterranean. That girl is the most beautiful girl I have ever known. That girl's name, yes, my darling. It's my name. It's your name, Nadia. Oh, snap. Snap indeed, Donald. But my dog baby, I would be returning to England to assume a position on the Supreme Vampiric Council. With what? what? We would be going back as the tip of the tops of the upper classes. Really? Yeah. Well, that changes pretty much fucking everything. <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> no, no, Lazarus. Lazaro Shroom. That's correct. Where lies Barbara Lazaro's weakest point? Oh, her Achilles heel. So it's her foot? Well, that's simple. I know exactly what to do. I meant in Greek mythology, there's a human who's held by his... Stop talking. Who would you say is the most powerful member of that group? Well, Miss Lazaro, but Doug Peterson is looking to unseat her in the upcoming election. Some people think he has a chance. A streak of piss with the case? Yeah. Shall we kill him as a warning? No. Let's use him as a pawn. But then I will visit Barbara Lazaro under cover of night. <laughs> yeah. Now, my plan is to win the trust of Barbara Lazaro. Am I devious? Yes, I think I am. But as the old saying goes, I didn't come here to make friends. Well, that's bullshit. That's exactly what I came here to do. Uh, yes? Good evening, Madame Lazaro. My name is Laszlo Cravensworth. And who do we have here? Oh, I'm watching my little granddaughter for the night. What a lovely little nibble she would be. I'm sorry. Do I know you? Well, you do now. And may I say you are a credit to the women's suffragette movement. And you're also very easy on the eye. I'm glad to see your foot injury isn't slowing you down. My what? Your foot. Now, I come to you with a warning. Those who you trust cannot be trusted. But I am here to help you with that. Uh, now, if this is borough council related, I have regular office hours. If there is a stone, so to speak, in your shoe that needs eliminating? I mean, the, the raccoon population is out of control. Saw three of them in my garbage can this morning. Three. It's a nightmare. Really? Yeah. I do like a direct woman. You know, I... I really do have to get Emily here uh, bathed and washed. Uh, why don't you uh, call my office in the morning and I'll... I'll try to see if I can find someone who can help you with whatever it is you need help with. It's not I who needs help, it's you. So it's me who's ending this conversation, not you. And you won't remember a thing about it. And you, my darling, won't remember a thing about a damn thing. The Lazaro woman's demanded proof of my ability as an ally, so, uh, here goes. Hello, my nighttime brother. <laughs> Fuck me. The fucking thing just bit me, but that'll heal immediately. There we are. Seems I overestimated our kinship. I'll have to take things up a notch. I mean, we don't know who was behind this. Is this uh, gang-related activity? Is, is MS-13 sending a message? I gave you those raccoons as a bloody gift. This was a clear and direct threat. This is the third animal shelter I visited. Yes. We did it? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's look. You are free now, so be free. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Fucking guy. Are you guys sure it was him? Where the fuck am I? You saved me! 
Thank you. <laughs> your screaming disturbed me from my slumber. You shouldn't be putting your head in there. It's not hygienic. If you want to wash yourself, do it in a... Will you stop that? I've had enough of this. <laughs> He was a good familiar and a fine fellow. But what he's done is done. Ah! Ah! Fucking guy! It seems that the winding path of life has led me back to myself. Back to Laszlo. Yes! Everybody! Ah! My Laszlo is home! Hello, Laszlo. What? Is that it? What? I've been gone ages, and all you can do is... Hello, Laszlo. Please, you've been away for, like, one week. Are you kidding? I was a different person. I was Jackie Detto now. I said welcome back, didn't I? Fucking guy. Who cares? Let's go. To the boudoir. <laughs> Guillermo! Calm practice. It's interpretive dance, so you need to be telling a story using your body. Like Pam. Good luck. You don't need to be doing that. Yes, I do. Be kind to Guillermo. What? Nothing. Sorry. Nick it. Do you mind if I just going to go this way? Yeah. Fucking girl. Don't sing if you want to live long. They have no use for your song. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. You're dead and out of this world. Now I hope the compassion is gone. You've sold out your dream to the world. Stay dead, stay dead, stay dead You're dead and out of this world